Hey guys, what's happening? I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in, watching, coming back, all that stuff. I appreciate it. Uh, today I'm going to do a vlog, and it's specifically about shooting some cityscapes, street scenes, uh, maybe street photography, that sort of thing. I'm going to head downtown here in Austin, and uh, and uh, to be even more specific, I'm only going to use two lenses, a couple of my prime lenses. Uh, the first one is this one, which I absolutely adore. Uh, and by the way, I shoot Sony, so these will be on my Sony um, A7 camera. Um, it's a 28 millimeter f2. I've used it a lot. I had it for several years. Absolutely adore the uh, adore the lens. Great for low light because of the f2. Also, to me, great for cityscapes and street scenes because it's got that 28 millimeter view, so fairly wide. Uh, but the other thing I'm going to try to do is a little bit of more traditional street photography, uh, which is to me kind of includes humans, and obviously you want to be a little bit closer. So I've got a 50 millimeter prime, and this is also a Sony lens. It's a 50 millimeter 1.8. I've had that one about a year. I haven't used it a lot, to be honest, so I'm kind of eager to try that out and uh, head downtown and see what kind of stuff I can come up with. So follow along. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's get going. All right, well, seeing as how it's about lunchtime, I decided to stop off for some barbecue. Um, I'm hungry, and uh, this place is good, so we're going to detour into here for a sec and then get back on the road, go get some photos. All right, so I'm going to kick the day off at the graffiti wall. I'm just going to use the 50 millimeter prime, see what I can come up with. And uh, basically, it's just a big wall of graffiti. Uh, I've been here before in a previous video, but it changes all the time. And in fact, the site's moving. So I'm going to uh, see what uh, see what it looks like today, and uh, hopefully get some shots. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm all done there. I think I got some nice shots. Uh, I was just using the 50 1.8 there, uh, but there's so many cool things to look at. The graffiti is awesome. And as I said earlier, they're supposed to be moving that site. I believe it's gonna move to another part of town next year. So I always try to go back and get a few new shots because it changes a lot. And whenever it does move, uh, you know, it just won't be the same, right? It won't be the original. So uh, it's fun to capture those kind of things. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna head on down uh, closer into the, the core downtown get some more uh, street shots, that sort of thing, and uh, let's keep it going. All right, well, I'm downtown now. I found this cool graffiti wall. If you check it out behind me, I'll try to show you a view of it here. It's uh, pretty interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff like this. One of the things I like to do when I'm shooting in cities is duck into side streets and back alleys. I always seem to find something of interest, and, uh, you know, this is no exception. So just kind of digging this, and uh, there's quite a bit of noise. Well, I guess it's heavy metal music. Uh, when I was young, it was music. Now it's noise. But uh, anyway, it's uh, kind of cool stuff. So that's going on in the background, but 
mostly I'm just checking it out and uh, having fun. So one more look at some of this graffiti. Pretty fun. All right. All right, guys, I'm downtown now. I uh, had to stop in a Starbucks to get a tea because it's kind of cold, so I had to warm up a little bit. But now I'm going to hit the streets, see what kind of stuff I can find down here. And, you know, i got to admit, I'm having a lot of fun. I've only been using the 50 millimeter so far, and it's not really a focal length that I've normally used. I, uh, for years, I was a wide angle only, pretty much kind of a shooter. Uh, in the last few years, I've really gotten into my, uh, my telephoto, which is a 24 to 240. Uh, and before that the 24 to 70 so that kind of mid-range focal length But I would say a 50 millimeter prime I bought it because it was on sale and it wasn't very expensive But I haven't used it, but now that I'm using it today. I'm kind of getting in the groove a little bit I don't know if the photos are any good. I guess I'll find that out um, Well prior to you seeing this video, but uh, anyway, I'll find that out here pretty soon But uh, nonetheless, you know you start using something you sort of get into a groove with it So I'm gonna keep shooting with it and see what happens and uh, I'm also looking forward. It's uh it's mid-afternoon now, so I got sunset in a couple hours or so. I'm looking forward to see what it does uh, in lower light, because you know right now it's still pretty bright. Uh, since it is a 1.8 lens, it should be pretty fun. So we'll see. Let's keep going. Guys, it's a little bit past sunset now it's uh, getting into blue hour which is my favorite time to shoot um, I've only used the 50 millimeter 1.8 all day and I gotta admit this is getting kind of fun like the more I use it the more I like it so uh, if you haven't used a prime lens like try them out if you you know if you have the time or the interest or the budget I guess um, this one's uh, you know I don't think it'll go down in history as one of the greatest lenses ever but it's uh, seems to be pretty good uh, I like what I'm getting. I've, I've mixed in, uh, hopefully, so far, you know, I'm recording this and then I'm like creating the video later, so it's kind of weird, but um, I've got a number of iPhone shots that I uh, just took in this bar that's behind me, right over here. It's a little Belgian beer bar, one of my favorite places in Austin. So I hang out there, kind of waiting for the light to change. You know, it's, hey, you know, you gotta, sometimes you have to wait. Uh, like, photography is a chore, right? You gotta just like, Got all this time in your hands. You got to do something. So you go on a Belgian beer bar. Uh, anyway, so I was uh, I was doing that, and uh, now it's kind of getting to be blue hour. So I'm gonna go take the 50 millimeter, and I'm gonna stick it at 1.8 the whole time, and just uh, go take some more shots, see how it works. So uh, wish me luck. I hope you uh, hope you like the shots. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
Okay guys, I got gloves on, it's been cold. Um, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. A couple of uh, points I wanted to make. Number one is that when I started out tonight with the two prime lens, uh, lenses, I, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna go. I, I definitely know I like the uh, 28 millimeter F2. I wasn't so sure about the 50 millimeter 1.8, but this ended up being a vlog pretty much about the, well not pretty, actually entirely about the 50 millimeter 1.8, and that's because it's the only lens I used, and I gotta admit, I really like it. Uh, historically, I've been kind of a wide angle guy, as I said earlier, and as well as my super zoom and mid range zoom and all that. So I've been kind of a 24 to 70, you know, 24 to 240 kind of lens kind of guy. Uh, but there's there's a beauty in having a prime lens and just walking around and just just hammering shots uh, at f 1.8 in the case of this lens. And you know, it's freeing because you don't have the tripod, you don't have a big bag full of glass, and so you just toting around its tiny little lens on this uh, you know mirrorless camera so it's uh, it's free I don't know how else to say it so um, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the vlog I'm gonna uh, go find some food and stuff because it's dark it's late I'm tired and I'm hungry and uh, it's that time of day so thanks for watching I appreciate it I'll see you soon my friends uh, take care thanks for watching hope you're having a great start to your new year and adios